boy, oh boy, this is going to be fun. This was meant to be their Helm's Deep, their long night. Oh god, the battle was absolutely shite. There was no pacing within the battle. One minute you've got all the orcs are battering them, they're winning the fight. The next minute they're all nearly depleted. One minute it's day, one minute it's night, and then it's night again, then it's day, then it's night, then it's day. It's like, Jesus, how many days have passed? We do get some comical scenes from this episode, from Calabrimbor getting blown up to Calabrimbor then waking up from said concussion and then running at full pelt the extras were fucking awful just look at these shots We've got characters who no one cares about having big roles. Just look at Rian, is it? Fuck knows. You've got Alves dropping napalm. It is all one big mess. Alrond arrives with his Alves on horseback and then all of a sudden all of the horses are gone. Where? Fuck knows. Everyone seems to be travelling to Kazakh Doom and back within an hour. Gilglad, who's meant to be the leader, he's actually in this battle by the way. But no, Alrond's in charge and he leads the charge but then he stops because he sees Galadriel and everyone can hear his order despite the thunder of hooves. Auron's become such a cock and they wrote the worst fucking fan fiction I've ever seen. Who the hell is asking for Aurond and Galadriel? Stacy's mum has got it going on. He's got to have an awkward conversation with his daughter later. Oh yeah, by the way, I went with your grandmother. And yes, you can say, oh, but the context. He was only doing it so he can give her the key. Why didn't he just grab her hand and then give it a kiss? And then, there you go, the key's there. No, how the hell did he give her the key? I love as well that the guards have searched Alrond for weapons, yet couldn't find the ring on him, or couldn't find that key. Alrond is useless on the battlefield. There's no order, there's no formation whatsoever. Everyone's having one-on-one -on -one fights during the battle. What? And Alrond's giving no orders to his elves. They're literally doing what they want. And you have an awkward scene where Alrond's trying to damage this machine. He's trying to destroy it. And you just see him constantly whacking it, whacking it, whacking it. And Damrod, oh, we'll, we'll get on to him in a bit. Instead of stepping on him, instead of killing him straight away, he just throws him. Why? And then at the end, Adar grabs the ring off Alrond anyway, so it was all pointless. And what's he going to do with the ring? Fuck knows. The writers don't know what to do with Galadriel. She's a thirsty girl. One minute she's after Halbrand, the next minute Alrond. And so she escapes with ease. There you go, the tension's gone. They rip off the scene from The Return of the King, but they have to do it better. So Galadriel sneaks out an orc clothing and as she's wandering through trying to go undetected an orc spots her but it's not no ordinary orc we have the female orcs and they're in charge fucking brilliant i see you learnt your lesson from the other episode so aaron deer pops up out of fucking nowhere the orcs have forgotten that they can smell and she's saved and how does she get into the city? By a secret tunnel. One of my predictions was that Arendir would kill Damrod. He has a hand in it. And I also said that he would die. Well, we think he does. And it's fucking pathetic. We have this awkward scene where he hits Adar. Adar hits him. And then Adar gets the killing blow. But we don't see him die on screen. So he's probably gonna be fine. Adar's probably just gonna heal him with the ring. Speaking of Adar. 
They're trying to play off Adar as this loving character, this father to the orcs. He really cares about them. That's why he's sending them all in to die instead of sending Damrod in first. You can see all of the orcs are getting butchered, but no, he doesn't care. Well, apparently he does. You're showing something different. And even the orcs are like, you said you loved us. What the fuck is this? Broke back Mount Doom. He gets tricked by everyone, but he gets the ring in the end, so that's fine. He's got no tactics apart from one, which is fucking ridiculous. So he shoots the catapults at the city and decides, you know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to turn all of the catapults towards the mountain has a one in a fucking billion shot shoots all of the catapults it knocks the tiniest rock that's holding up a big rock which causes a mini landslide and boom the river's blocked how shouldn't the water go over no it's fucking dried up straight away Damrod was fucking useless. This Damrod, the guy who eats dragons, who's beaten up stone giants, couldn't break through a fucking wall. He was meant to be the big villain. Everyone's scared of him. What did he do? He killed a couple of elves, killed a couple of orcs, didn't kill Aurond, got absolutely battered and dies. But he does have an end credit song. Fucking brilliant. Calabrimbor is fucking useless somehow in one night calabrimbo's made the nine rings nearly despite not being able to finish their design on paper he's got them done he has a conversation with mr mouse probably the best character so far of the rings of power except for lord waldrig sauron has him living in an illusion but calabrimbo clocks onto it and then confronts sauron saying this isn't real look at mr mouse and instead of sauron going you know what you're losing your mind you've had a tough couple of weeks no the master deceiver says yeah i've got you in a spell what and it gets worse this spell breaks because calabrimbo chucks something through the window smashes it and bang it is all revealed. So apparently during this time, Calabrimbo's been injured. His forge has been broken. It's been smashed. Okay, so how's he been doing his work? Fuck knows. If you're asking, didn't a smash window cause this illusion to break? Well, you're right. But then how does a fucking boulder break through your window, break through your walls? How does that not break your illusion? Fuck knows. He goes to try and tell people that Sauron is here. Anatar is Sauron. And he goes to Merdania, whatever the fuck her name is. And she doesn't believe him. She's thirsty for Sauron. Everyone wants some. And then Calabrimbo looks like he chucks Merdania off the wall. Sauron's had a hand in that. And it's so funny because she jumps and Calabrimbo's reaction's not sad. It's not screaming like, no, he's not upset. He just turns away. He can't be bothered to look. Thank you, Calabrimbo. Thank you. And so he's put on house arrest. Sauron goes, oh, I'm not Sauron. And then a minute later talks out in the open, oh, you will make the nine rings or I will destroy your city. Brilliant. Well done. Absolute shite. He spends all of the episodes asking Calabrimbo, where's my rings at this point calabrimbo hasn't tried to destroy them yet he does later on but knowing that sauron is a master deceiver and doesn't keep his word decides i'm gonna go along with it i'm still gonna make them i'm still gonna finish them surely you would try your best to destroy them before they got completed not when they're completed and surely you'd take one for the team you'd do a gearing and fucking pop yourself off but no he doesn't he doesn't sacrifice anything he does it and then regrets it and then tries to give the rings to gladual what so as his illusions broken and gladual re-enters the city calabrimbo's like this is all my fault i've caused this and gladual at no point goes no you didn't this is my fault i didn't tell you who halbrand was i'm really sorry no she's like okay then and Calabrimbo goes to fight Sauron. Galadriel doesn't jump in and go, you know what, you're not doing it, you're definitely not doing it. And so Calabrimbo goes to fight Sauron, and when he gets there, Sauron does a Jedi mind trick on the elves, and they all kill each other. Brilliant. Why didn't you do that to Galadriel? And there you have it, Calabrimbo is captured. Brilliant. I mean, he should have died 
multiple times during this episode. By the way, there's rebellion in Kazakh Doom. This episode was a mess. The battle was awful. The choreography was shite. The writing was shite. The armor looks shite. Everything is bad. This is shite fan fiction.